G'day guys, you're back with Miracle Max. Today we're working on a Mitsubishi Triton 2015 model 4D56 engine in it. We're going to be replacing the injectors in it and I thought I'd just show you how to code the injectors after they've been installed. So what's involved in getting this beast back up on the road? Together, all the bits and pieces and bibs and bobs put into place. I've left the engine cover off for now so that I can check for uh, you know fuel leaks, oil leaks, that sort of stuff. Hopefully that's all good. So we head inside the cabin next and code those injectors. So to calibrate our injectors we go into special functions and you can see injector code registration. We'll put that in there. This function is used to set the compensation code for the new injector assembly or injectors to the engine ECU when replacing the injector assembly or the injectors. This function must not be operated without referring to the service manual. That's okay. I'll have to get the phone out and check the uh, code numbers. These are the code numbers that were in there, I assume. Okay, so cylinder one we're looking at, we'll okay that. And now we need to put in the correct code. Remember I took a photo of the codes before I installed them? That's what I'm putting in now. 9703020F1524, number one, that's correct. 05060AF11513. Zero, 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 five, six. Just double check that number with what's on my phone. So we've got nine seven zero three nine seven zero three zero two zero F zero two zero F one five two one five two four zero five zero. Four zero five zero six yes zero A F one zero A F one one five one three one five one three one two three four four zeros and five six. Yep, I'm happy that that's the correct number, so all I do now is hit OK. On to my second one. I do want to register that. It says do I want to register it? Yes I do. OK that that should change registration. Okay, that should bring up my next one. And then I go back in and I do my others. Okay, I'm not going to run you through the entire lot because it's a pretty boring process, but I'm on to cylinder two now. I've double checked number one and number one's correct, so I shift on to number two. And finally comparing that number four cylinder with the injector code, and I'm happy that I've got it correct. We hit OK, and we should be done on all of them. And we're back to our main screen. So they should be all coded correctly. I'll just double check, make sure they look right. Uh, they should end in just a last couple of digits with four zeros stuck in the middle. So yes, they've all been changed. Good. Okay. Of course, another thing that we're going to have to do um, is do a small injector quantity relearn um, after we've done a road test and we get it up to temperature and make sure that everything's okay. But that'll have to be done next. You probably notice that the check engine light is flashing at the moment. I'm not overly concerned. I have heard that you have to do that uh, small injector quantity relearn um, to get that thing to go out. So road test first, worry about, uh, there's no fault codes that have come up that I'm concerned about. They're just timeout ones, which are pretty common on these Mitsubishis. But uh, that flashing light, I believe, and I hope should go out once I've done that relearn. Just out in my road test, I thought I'd pull over so that you could see the uh, small quantities there. Even number four has gone back to zero because we've recoded the injectors. Um, this will take a little while before it relearns itself. And of course, I've got to do the small injector quantity relearn. So um, at the moment, uh, yes, the check engine light's still going hell for leather, um, but I'm not overly concerned because this all has to relearn itself. So a decent road test, then I've got to fit the criteria by getting it up to temperature, etc, etc, etc. 
I've done quite an extensive road test and quite a long distance so now I'll see if I can get this it sounds like it's doing itself to be quite honest um, it's going through its paces up and down I will try and do this uh, relearn anyway see it's in progress oh no sorry uh, let's try it anyway uh, okay so everything should be up to specs <laughs> it is it's doing itself because I pulled over I, I shouldn't need to do it I don't think um, I might just wait a little while and see what it does and maybe the check engine light will go out but uh, you can hear that it's going up and down in the revs and what we might do is uh, what if we're gonna see any uh, on the data there I was trying to <laughs> show you what it was like a bit rude all right so yes we are seeing a change here already it's done a self-learn as you can see it's gone through and changed all these figures here whereas before they're all zero weren't they I might do a relearn on it anyway just for to show you guys how it's done so you go into learning under special functions and F1 is small injection quantity relearn let's try that we'll we'll see if it does it it should do it actually yes is everything up to standard coolant temperature fuel temperature etc etc uh, steering is static it's in park well it's a manual uh, air conditioning off etc so we should be right to go I believe error it's not going to work okay I have had this before where I've had to drive it back to the workshop uh, perhaps because it's just done one itself uh, it doesn't want to play again but I'll see what happens back at the workshop one thing to note though the check engine light has gone out so yes it was doing a, um, a relearn but it did it all by itself so to do a small injector quantity relearn you need to go into uh, special functions here and you come down to learning across there and that should bring up the uh, F1 is the relearning for small injection quantity so we'll give that a shot and see what happens hopefully we've got all the criteria met um, I believe that I have but we'll see how we go one has been completed recently automatically so I don't know if it'll allow me to do it manually but we'll give it a try no it won't allow me to do it because it's just done one that's another job ticked off the list injector coding on a Mitsubishi Triton 4D56 2015 model it's interesting that the vehicle itself did the small injector quantity relearn and I didn't have to do it manually and that instantly got rid of the check engine light so no problems there I'll keep in contact with the customer and find out if it's got rid of that uh, hard starting rough idle when cold and particularly the smoke out the exhaust I'm pretty sure that it was number four injector that was absolutely had it I hope you enjoyed the video today and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel give it a like feel free to comment down below and of course don't forget about that notification bell you don't want to miss any future videos do you no of course not okay guys this is miracle max signing off i will catch you later